recognized speaker, trainer, and entrepreneur who has addressed several thousand people over the past decade in Canada, the U.S., and South Africa. He combines a diverse background in sales force leadership, new entrepreneur development, and extensive sales and leadership coaching. Shane is Executive Vice President of KBI and heads the firm's North American operations. He has been published in numerous publications on the topics of leadership, marketing, sales, strategic communications, and assessing business opportunities. He has also addressed the topic of entrepreneurial leadership in magazine, radio, and television interviews, including the Financial Post and Profit Magazine. Most recently, Shane spoke at the World Summit for Youth Entrepreneurs, put on by the United Nations Development Program, addressing over 1,500 young entrepreneurs from 72 countries. Please welcome Shane Gibson. Thank you. So we've got 30 brief moments to spend together for me to discuss a topic that I'm very passionate about. So I've put a full three-hour program in half an hour, and I'm just going to speak six times faster. So get your notes out. <laughs> All seriousness, goal setting and really what the power of a goal is, is in my opinion, a goal defines a leader. And a goal shapes a leader. And for us to have power for goals to move towards and a process to get there is really, we, and Darcy talked about the journey, is that I, a number of years ago I ran a youth entrepreneur program and we graduated over 180 youth entrepreneurs, 19 to 29 year, years old in Burnaby. And we had a 55% startup rate. And what was interesting is, is as I watched these enterprises develop and as I've been in connection now with these people for seven, eight years, the reality is, is that they didn't really grow a business. The business grew them. And really entrepreneurism and even career development is a process not where we get to learn more about business, but more so we get to learn more about ourself. And having powerful, powerful goals and really sticking our neck out a bit and having the courage to take action towards them can really help us to begin to develop ourselves. So, Today, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Now, as I said, this topic is something that we can spend a lifetime honing, and so I'm just going to take sort of the top off it. And I'm going to focus on six areas. One is clarity. To create and achieve powerful goals, we need true clarity. Second is focus, an ability to consistently stay focused. And I like what Darcy said earlier, not tunnel vision, but focus. Focused on the goal. A strong personal self-esteem and belief in oneself is absolutely critical to moving towards our goal. Strong follow-through on those goals. A commitment. Hey, I got a commitment there twice. I guess I really wanted you guys to uh, focus on this today. But, uh, and so we need very smart goals. Also, they need to be aligned with our values. Our own personal definition of success is one of the most critical things. Because too often I bump into people and they're 22 or they're 32 or they're 52. And they've been following a path and a series of goals which are really in line with somebody else's values. They borrowed the goals from society. They borrowed them from a well-meaning professor. They borrowed them from a mentor. Or they just kind of followed the pack. And they're absolutely uninspired of what they're doing. And they're wondering why they just can't put that extra effort to go where they want to go. I think one of the key factors is as we build our goals for our career and our business and even our short-term goals is to get really, really honest about what's important to us. What are our core values? And then based upon that, we begin to set those goals. Sometimes our goals won't change, but how we get there will. One of my a young entrepreneur, and uh, they're in the industry, speaking industry as well. And they sat down and said, Shane, what does it take to be successful in the industry? And this just came out. It was almost like it just, I didn't even really think about it. I said, the ability to say no. And they went, okay, that's profound. And I go, yeah, it was. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Was that me? Uh, and I said, yeah. And I thought, okay, what did I mean? And I go, oh yeah, okay, so here it goes. What it is, we're absolutely, sometimes in life, a lot of where we get pulled off track in our goals is distraction, isn't it? I have a certain career path, but someone waves an extra couple dollars and I'm over here for a little while. And then I've got a little bit of insecurity and someone says something else and maybe I should do that because I'm not sure. And next thing, we spend a whole bunch of time on things that don't produce or move us to where we want to go or help us evolve as leaders. And so when we're absolutely clear on what's important to us as far as values go, it gets very, very easy to say no and very, very easy to say yes to where we want to go, who we're going to associate with on a regular basis, how we're going to grow our business. But that was kind of fun. <laughs> the analogy that stuck with me for a very long time is that we, we really empower what we focus on. 
That individual saw an obstacle between him and a goal, and he focused all of his energy on that obstacle, and he empowered it. She focused on what she wanted with less effort and got to where she wanted to go. And so in our life, the question is, how many boards are we focusing on? Right? How many challenges or obstacles are we spending all of our time energizing versus focusing on where we want to be? Often when we solve a problem, the problem goes away. We don't necessarily move forward. When we look at creating solutions and outcomes and being very goal-oriented, we almost always move forward with those actions. You're the same person that did it. Five years from now, you're going to be that same person. Does that make sense? You're already capable. Part of it is we have to step into our own greatness and give ourselves permission to succeed. And that's really what it's about, is we're absolutely capable. And I can guarantee whatever challenge we come across, there's someone out there who's overcome it with less assets than us.